This episode is sponsored by Technicals Brand. Shout out to the fellas over there for giving us some boss clobber, isn't it? Yeah, sure, you can get it? on there at the top. I've got a nice pink one there. Uh, nice. a nice green one. And um, some heavy jackets and you can get your pants and everything on there. And you can find their Instagram at Technicals Brand. And you can also go to the website to get some heavy clobber like this at technicalsbrand.com. Nice one again to the boys. It's yeah, knocked a few pounds much. off me. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Hello and welcome back to the Ten Pint Podcast. We're here with me, Lucas Normal, and Beefham. Yes, lad. And today we've got a very special guest, Chris Longo. How are you, mate? What's happening? Good, yeah. Yeah, thanks for coming on. So we'll go back to the start. Like, how did you just sort of first man your love for football and get into football? Um, first love was actually well, my cousin's here with me today. Um, I think I, when, like when I was a kid, I was about five or something like that. I went to Saint Edward's College. I think it was like a summer camp type thing. And then end up going to the um, Springwood, like Sunday League. Yeah. And then um, ever since then, I've loved footy. I loved Michael Owen growing up. Are you, aren't you in blue though? I'm a tan coat, which is oh, I, I I sad saying it, do you know what I mean? But, <laughs> but yeah, I used to, I loved Michael Owen was like my hero growing up. Yeah. So I remember my mum telling me in nursery, well, when I was in nursery, mm. like when they do the register and stuff like that, I'd refuse to say like who my name was. My name was Michael Owen. That's <laughs> yeah. Because I used to have you know, them tallies back in the day when you'd have like the video tape and yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. have Michael Owen's all goals and just sit there and watch him for hours. But just he basically loved watching him and that's why I love footy because the way he used yeah. to fucking score goals and stuff like that. Like, well, Do you like a striker straight away then because of Michael Owen? Yeah. yeah. Just, he was me, you know, so that sounds like I've got a fascination about Owen. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, I just loved him growing up and obviously yeah. actually supported Liverpool then. And um, that. So I ended up loving footy, to be honest. Yeah. So what age did you get, like, get picked up then? Um, well, that's what I said, like, when I went with our Callum, played for Springwood. Um, I think it was a team in, like, Garston or something like that. I don't even know if I'm eating, but I ended up playing for the Sunday League team in Garston. forgot what the field's called, but got picked up for Man City Satellite and went there. I think I went, went there with you. I don't know what they do when we were kids, but it was, like, kind of like, indoor or something, wasn't it? And then I went to Liverpool and Everton at the age of five and... End up choosing Everton. I actually went to Liverpool first, and then um, when I went to Everton, I signed up in full rig out to Liverpool kid. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you choose Everton over Liverpool? The coaches, the coaches like were actually yeah, they were on point like. And what then, year was this like around? Well, I was five and twenty seven now, so I think that it was Tosh. Tosh was the coach. I don't know, he's not there no more. But Tosh, Eddie Murray, and that they was just. I was a bit of a weird kid growing up, like I used to like, weigh in confidence and stuff like that, do you yeah. know what I mean? So I used to like cry and shit like that. But um, when I first went to Liverpool, it was Carl Robinson, you know, the manager of Oxford. Yeah, yeah. He was the coach. Was he at NK Dons? Used yeah, to be? he got me when I was 18 at yeah. NK, but he um, he was the coach when I was a young kid, when we first went on a trial at Liverpool. I was crying my eyes, I was don't know why, but I'm at Liverpool and I was just, should, should love it because I support them, but then went to Everton and it was just just basically changed my life really. Yeah. Lost life. Do you reckon it was better going to Everton? Because you were a bit scared going to Liverpool because mm. you were a red at that point. Yeah. Do you reckon that was sort of why you were crying? No, I, I used to cry going to school and I was just a weird, proper weird kid. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> like antisocial kid. But now nah, I think it was like I went on my own and yeah. I used to go everywhere like with my cousins at 40 and whatever. You know what I mean? Because they're yeah. my best mate. But like when I was a kid, I, I went on my own to Liverpool and Everton, so it was totally different for me. And then Everton, like Tosh and Eddie Money, they just would literally put their arm around me. It was just totally different to the Liverpool, you know what I mean? Yeah. What were like your go-to pair of football boots then? My go-to? I don't know why. When I was, before like, I ended up getting sponsored by Adidas, it was like, when I was a kid, I was a wearing total 90s of Merck Mercurial Vapors. Yeah. Classic style. T90s was so heavy Total 90s, yeah. But Mercurials, because I'll end up loving Thierry on me. I don't know if I haven't end up loving him you know, when he used to pull his socks over his knees and that yeah. so I had a few pairs then makes me we still have remember the catalogue the, the pro direct catalogue used to get obviously don't get it no more but every day Christmas me and him obviously we'd be me nans looking at like new boots and that but um, yeah me makes it like the best like yeah so what was it like getting your pro at Everton then um, it was good like to be honest like from five till I got like my scholar and stuff like that, it changes, you know, when you start like earning money and stuff yeah. like that. Mm. So when I came out of the academy and went pro, it's just you see the different side of football to be honest. Yeah. Loved Everton. The academy side was was one of my best times in my life in football, but 
when you start to earn money and you, you sign your prob, don't get me wrong, sign your prob at Everton. I was like, yeah, crack there, I'm a professional football player and yeah. I play for Everton. What age is that? Boss. I think I was 17, 18, something yeah. like that. But I always felt like I was I'm trying to be like a big time cunt. Like, but it was like, um, obviously, you got an England school boys and I went through all the ages with them. So I thought, I'm not trying to be big time, I thought I would end up getting a pro, yeah. at least if it weren't at Everton. But I ended up getting it, it was, it was boss, aren't it? Just obviously, me my mum's side of all blues. My uncle's yeah. he's a he's a massive blue, so I think he was made up. Me dad's side of like reds, but it, it was it was great. Like, what sort of players are about then? So like through them age groups, now you just mentioned England. Do you think yeah. you played with, with everyone up until under twenties? Was it in England? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What sort of like like players? No, you I'm with fuming it? off that because literally got to move to Burnley and twenty ones never came calling. I was fuming like England. Mad though. Yeah, I don't know, but. Um, what type of players did they play with? Yeah, yeah. Through Everton or England? Just both. Uh, like, my age for England was like uh, Luke Shaw, Jordan Ibe, Isaac Hayden, um, Adam Webster, he's had a really good career now. Um, I'm just trying to think the people you probably know about, John, yeah. that was my age, but I remember getting picked two years above my age. Mm. Um, I was for the under-20s World Cup, I think I was only like 17, 18, and I ended up going with the 93s. And like, the, that team was... Serious. If you look at that team now, like what sort like, of players were in it? Harry Kane, Eric Dyer, Ross Barkley, Lascelles, John Lundstrom, um, Will Prowse. Let's see yeah. the whole, the whole John Flanagan. Like, like they've all made it, haven't they? They cracked it. Like yeah. they've had like serious careers. Did you, did you reckon Kane was gonna be? Like, nah. Them, was he I'll not? Be, listen, if if you look at that team, like that, that should have cracked it. That should yeah. have won that World Cup. Pogba's France won that. I was yeah. the youngest in the team, so I don't even think I saw me pro then, and I, mm. I'm still like there, and they're all been on loan. I think he was at Norwich the season before, yeah. on loan, Harry. But, um, yeah, to be honest, I was the best lad, one of the best lads all these I've ever I've been, I've been <laughs> like, England put us in, like, a, like an all-inclusive hotel, like, <laughs> three weeks before we went. But, like, the provisional squad, like, when you when we were going to the World Cup, do you, like, add a certain amount of players? Like, not, like, like trying to get into that World Cup squad, no, even like Berahino was in uh, Redmond, Redmond ended up going with, yeah, Redmond went to 21s, but to be honest, that, that, tour, that tournament, like I was, that was, I was over the moon, like, I, don't, I don't know how I got into yeah, that, but yeah. the, um, what country was it in? It was in Turkey, Sam, no, it, was, it was boss like, but then me getting into that was like, I was like, how have I got into this, and with all these players, and then um, I think we played, we, we finished bottom of the group, we so went out on the group stage, with, with and should have seen the teams who were in it. Who was the manager for like the under twenties then? It was Peter Taylor, Chris Ramsey, I'm with QPR. Oh yeah. yeah. And Hugo Egiog. Remember him? <laughs> He's a probably forgotten yeah, Premier League ball. Yeah. Yeah. And Stonesy, Stonesy was there, and like John Stones, like the team was incredible. <laughs> How did, was um, everyone just getting boozed on the all inclusive? <laughs> 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 there's heavy stories about what went on, John. I'm not saying no names in that like <laughs> name. But nah, it was um, it was incredible. It was it was a boss experience. I just shared, I shared the room with bloody, like one of my mates, Lonnie, John Lundstrom, and for like a month, just stuck in a hotel room in, in the Turkey. But I was there for a month, it was it was a good experience. Was he at Everton then as well, Lundstrom? Yeah, so I've grew up, he was at the same in the league as um, me and our Callum, he was, um, he was at Springwood, but the year above, he's a year above me, Lonnie. And um, got the same agents and stuff like that, because he went and watched them last night for Rangers, but... Yeah. Yeah, he's a legend, only like. He smashed it to be fair, hasn't he? Yeah, that goal last season was, it was against Leipzig. Yeah, yeah, that was so the that was the best atmosphere I've ever seen in, in a football ground. Like. Really, yeah, yeah. That did look proper. Not yeah, it was, yeah, it was sick. Uh, went with uh, one of my other best mates, Dom, and then two with like Lonnie's mates, and it was just. I think I think Dom actually said that half time. Imagine if Lonnie scores, and then in the space like fucking obviously whenever. He, Scored the win. Did you go to the final? I didn't go to the final. Ah. I think I was on Aldi with uh, my bed and my kids, so yeah. I didn't go. Well, go to life, but he needs to come back to Prem for one reason only. Eh? He's outstanding for the card. <laughs> he outstanding <laughs> yeah. outstand for the card. I remember when like he weren't really playing the championship when he got to Sheffield United, was he? When he got promoted, yeah. yeah. And then I think he obviously worked his way into the team and I think he was everyone's favourite fantasy player. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, he was. I think he was down as a defender, but he obviously just sent him in. He kept scoring. He scored quite a few get, like goals yeah. in um, obviously that season in the Prem, which obviously got a heavy move to Rangers in there. Yeah. So going back to Everton, like at, when you signed your pro and that, mm. like 
was it a big step up then from sort of like that under 18s under 23s level to actual pro level did you notice the difference um yeah it was i don't know it was like obviously it's different isn't it? when you get like you're growing up like mm. when you're like 15 16 obviously fucking, a moody teenager i mean i was a, i was a bit of a bell when i was a kid <laughs> like but um no there, there was a difference obviously because obviously you're earning money and stuff like that and then you're playing with like it's more like um i don't know a word for it but I don't know, trying to, you're trying to push that first team place, aren't you? Yeah. Obviously, never really came with Everton for, for me, so made the one debut, like, but it wasn't really, it was just a total different, like, feeling everything once, once I became pro there. Yeah. Was it less enjoyable, would you say? Because more like Yeah, I loved it, because I loved footy growing up, I loved yeah. playing for Everton since I was five till oh, 16, and then yeah. when I became pro, it was just different. You've seen him as boss, though, my, the ma- my manager was Kevin Sheedy. Yeah. And the assistant was a uh, big dunk, Dunk Ferguson. What's so, he like? Everyone says he's like boss, everyone, no one ever has a bad word to say. Oh no, he's a le- legend, to be fair. When I ended up moving to Burnley, he still, he still, I still kept in touch with him and stuff like that. He looked after me a lot, Dunk. Yeah. I was going through a bit of a bad time, like obviously my man and dad split up, but he, he put his arm around me, Dunk. Yeah. Do you reckon he'll be a manager one day? I hope so. So now he's left Everton, hasn't he? Yeah. Hopefully he can resurrect me and get me get me if he had to an heavy club or something <laughs> but nah he was he's a legend dunk sick man he was, he was scary though was he yeah did he ever lose his head at you no he liked me to be fair <laughs> but he um, used to do some heavy shooting sessions and then he got me on me f- I never used to be into like box sets and series he got me into watching The Sopranos it's just heavy heavy, heavy uh, series yeah, I still haven't mean. seen that ah it's serious but then um, I remember being a youth team like when I was in youth team and like we'd be in at half eight of the morning doing like legs or, st- or stuff and um, we'd be in the gym so on the bike he'd walk in obviously he's intimidating presence anyway and he's massive and I'm obviously like a little skinny kid and he'd pick up like the heaviest dumbbell in the gym he'd just bang like two out yeah look <laughs> over towards and go and then just walk back out like he'd be like sick man you know what I mean but nah he was, um, he was a legend didn't he he was sick, a sick man yeah, am I right in saying that you scored for Everton and friendly against Paddenville? Yeah, that was a cracker. That's after. good knowledge, that, you know. Mm. Got be free one, didn't we? Every goal, I thought. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. I was thinking that's me now, do you know what I mean? But, yeah, that was a mad... To me, that was me. I was on my second year pro. I literally... The season before, I went on, I mean, I went on loan to MK in League One. Had an injury, and then I came back, and I was like... Um, obviously, I was out of contract in that season, the end of that season. Mm-hmm. So I thought, I'll go... End up going pre season with Unzi. Unzi was the resume manager then. So I went to Austria with the 20, 21s and um, done well. And then just literally got a phone call saying um, the first team need another player. Do you want to go? So end up going to like, went back to Austria with the first team, went to Thailand and then went to play that Germany game. Yeah. And played well, to be fair. I thought I was doing really well. And then um, they didn't have a striker. I don't think there was a striker at the time. I think Lukaku broke his toe or something. Well, Lukaku, no, we were trying to. Pick, uh, he just literally went back to Chelsea. So yeah. that, but then there was, I think, there was talks of him signing on a perm. Yeah. Yeah. He was incredible for us, weren't he? Obviously, I'd um, done well and I started. It was the last pre season game before the Prem started. So I was like, I'm starting up front here, heavy, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm shitting myself, like. <laughs> and the team was decent, who they put out. So I was like, heavy. Who was in the team? It was like. Hibo, Hibo, Pina, Baines, Distan, Tim Howard, yeah. obviously Ross, Nasey, McGeady, and Bralcaraz. Yeah. <laughs> he, like, he, he was there and I don't know if I'd have you it was It was a deep, you know what I mean? It was yeah, a good yeah. team and then literally end up, I had the goal was heavy and he just got that off. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> we'll put it on a clip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I end up scoring that and I was like heavy. I was like, I was like Everton fans are in the corner. And yeah. My sister's fella is a massive blue. Biggest blue ever, like I know. And um, I asked this Paul, I was there to witness him. Remember, just after the game, I know we got beaten up, but I was just like, that's a heavy goal. Yeah. Man. I was like, <laughs> Did you reckon you'd be in like. I thought, no, I'll be honest, after that, I thought, I thought, cracked it. Yeah. Thought I'd be coming the next day and he'd offer me like a new deal and that. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, fucking Samuel Eto pulled up the day after and I'm back with the 21. That's so like, heavy, isn't it? Yeah, I was wounded, Joe. It must just be like seeing Eto pull in and some guy. Yo, that must have off. fell off it there. Did, yeah. Why is he even here? I've, but I thought, you know what? They must be testing me and he must be testing me this, my, my, like Martinez. Don't get me wrong, I didn't think mm. I'd, I'd be standing. I think we'd be playing less of that, like 
the first pre-season. I didn't. I thought I'm worthy of a bench or something. Yeah. And um, just didn't work out like that. I was back at the 21 still. I made my debut in that that rugby Europa League game. That's what basically nailed in the coffin for me leaving Everton. To be honest. Yeah. Who was that um, Europa League game against? Some Russian team, yeah. yeah. I think quite a few of us made that debut that that in that game, like Lego, uh, Kidal. Yeah, Krasnodar, that's Gef- who it was. Geffen, yeah, was Krasnodar, yeah. 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 That's what I mean, and I thought I've been at Everton since I was five and I was 19. Yeah. thought it'd be like one of the best feelings in the world, but as an Everton fan, I was an Everton fan then, do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I thought it, and it weren't. It, it, that, that pre-season goal was my best feeling I've ever had for Everton. Or like, the Cups we won, or like going on tour and stuff with like Tosh, like... Eddie Murray and Mike Dick. Don't get me wrong, the people at the, in the academy back then, the academy was incredible. Yeah. But loads of like people who were, went through like Sheeds, Neil Juicen, Mike Dickinson, still speak to Mike now and that. It was an incredible academy. I don't know what it's like now, but mm. yeah, that Why wasn't you, that feeling so good though? Because you'd think like that you're in a European game there, aren't you? Yeah. Like, why, why do you reckon that was a bit? It was like a bit of a dead rubber, and then I think. I don't know, Kone started and I knew I was better than Kone, you know what I mean? There was players in that first team I knew I was better than, yeah. even though I was 19, I knew. Yeah. Even to this day now, there's players in that who have played it in the Premier who I think I'm best than, well, it is what it is, because my attitude or whatever, but it just didn't feel as good. Yeah. I don't even think my mark came that game. Did you Did you come that game? My mark go? I don't know, that, that doesn't mean it's not like... Yeah. When I like play for Brentford, when I'm on loan there, that was a better feeling. Mm. Yeah, which is sad. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but that probably was part and parcel why I left. So, honest. like, what was it like leaving Everton? Then, like, what was the process of that? Was it just did it happen quickly, or were you, were you like looking for no, a club no. for a while? So I remember uh, I went on loan to the Championship after I made my debut. Mm. They were trying to send me to Portsmouth for League Two, and I was like, nah. So I was like, no, for a fact, I'm better than that. Because I done a good pre-season, made my debut. I was like, and a major came up to me. I mean, he informed me he was like Brentford. I went, but you have to wake away in the team. Yeah. And Gundy was trying to find me to fucking um, Portsmouth. I was like, nah. He went, like, they don't want you. And I was like, I'm sad. So I ended up signing for, for Brentford. I had to yeah. work my way into the team. Um, well, League of Day in Championship. Championship, yeah. yeah. Work my way into the team. I ended up um, scoring against Bournemouth. And then I got my first start. And our Callum actually came up. Yeah. Um, scored two of my first starts against Huddersfield. And then I was just like, yeah, flying. Now I can score goals in this league. Still, now I can. And at the end of the season, um, I was out of contract. I was 20. Um, I ended up having a few offers. It was like decent clubs as well, and Everton offered me a three year deal as well. But out of all the deals, financially, Everton's was actually the lowest. That's mad, that. Yeah. Yeah. You and I thought, that, that's yeah. like, I thought they're taking the piss a bit there. There was players out there where they've been on loan and they're older than me. And they probably, I know it's not about money, but at the end of the day, it's a short career, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, but it was the team I loved, and I thought it was quite disrespectful in a sense, you know what I mean? I've given I've give them my yeah. life, life, basically, and I've worked hard for them, loved them. Everton tends to do that loads, yeah. that, like, someone won't be playing, or not even in the first team. Yeah. And they'll give them a four-year deal. Pisses at, me. like, 19, so you're 23, 24 by the time you finished. Yeah, they, but they, they gave me, like, a three-year deal, and it was like, um, it just felt like these... I just don't know, it just didn't feel right, so then I ended up going to China for Bernie and that, which was... Ended up being financially, it was really good, but it was... Oh, it was really the manager there? Daish. What yeah. was he like? He comes across like a polarising character. Like your dad, love him or eat him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't get on with him, to be fair. He was... Don't get me wrong, I promoted my first season, which was really good, but... Yeah. I don't like to say bad words about anyone, but... To be honest, I thought he was quite disrespectful and since he didn't really give me a proper... Chance, don't get me wrong, I wasn't great. Yeah, when I've started against Cardiff and had a bad game, but normally when you have a bad game on the bench next game, laddie, fuck me off after that. Yeah, so it was a bit heavy, and then I played for like I missed the, that pre season as well because I Everton had to go to a tribunal because they offered me a deal. Yeah, because I was under 24, it like took ages, and because mm. I played for Brentford, lad, it was just all mad shit. Why I ended up signing yeah. them, but it was, um, I don't know, it just felt like I didn't really get a proper chance at being in that, but I can see why they, they fucked me off. I can't imagine Dyke being good for, for like, strikers. He's a very defensive no, manager. But, but that's what I mean, like, my agent actually sat down and was like, well, he's brought Danny Ings through, he's brought Charlie Austin. So he's proven to bring, like, good young yeah. English strikers, and I thought, yeah, sound, crack yeah. on, championship. They've just been relegated from the Prem. I thought, yeah, like, I'll score goals in that league, million mm. percent. But then, it didn't really work out like that, you know what I mean, but... This is what it is. I mean, you win the championship, yeah? Yeah, we won that. We won that. I think I played like 11 times that year, but 
No one wants to. I still, obviously, had an input in playing mm. decent, got a medal. You know what I mean? Yeah. But just, it's a bit wounded because it was a boss club, proper best dressing room I've ever been in my life, to be fair. What players were in the dressing room there? Um, Andre, Joey Barton. What? Oh, what's ah. he like? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't be wrong, he was one of my heroes growing up as well. He was my Facebook password on my Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, God, I idolised him, but um, for the wrong reasons. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's probably why my attitude was bad when I was a kid, but nah. He, um, Joey, I ended up car schooling with Joey for like nearly two years. It was, um, was boss like, this he driving in every day with one of my heroes. I don't know why, it's just a bit mad with any. He's got football though, I think just don't stray to the controversy, like, don't he? But he was like... That team, when I went to Burnley, it was an old squad, so I was like... I was the youngest by a distance early, and that changes. Yeah. And Zay Gray, when he signed, he was like... The next... Like, young lad. Yeah. And then, uh, but it was quite an old team. And obviously I had my experience, like proper men's... It was, it was, was Tarkowski not there? Tarkowski no, was there, yeah. Oh, was he, yeah? Yeah, I still speak to Tarkowski. Uh, Keane, oh, Michael Keane, George, yeah. George Boyd... Scotty Arf. It was a proper team. They terrorised that league that year. It was, yeah. it was too strong for everyone, but yeah, Joey was mad. Like, I used to car school with them, Lizzie used to get home every day at like six and seven o'clock though. He ate to go, like, he used to just chill and speak to the chef, like having a coffee. <laughs> you know, like, obviously, I'm only like a young 20 year old kid, yeah. so I didn't want to go, Joey, can we go now? Do you know what I mean? But he used, huh. used to take the piss going home. And that was sick. <laughs> Did like, you ever have any fights in training or anything? Or was he alright? He was heavy at Burnley, playing wise. He was a joke. Yeah. yeah. No, what I didn't know though, he had, he, was, he had loads of tattoos, lad. Did he? Yeah. I can't imagine him having tattoos either. Nah, he has though, he's got like a proper dodgy one on his foot, isn't he? <laughs> but nah, he's... Is that before he went to Marseille or after? I, don't know. I asked him about that Marseille thing, remember that Marseille the, thing? The press conference yeah. thing? Yeah. He, he can speak French though, I remember being in the car once and some fella from France phoned him and he was... <laughs> he spoke a bit of French like, but nah, he was, he's just fucking legend. What tunes he? does he have on the car? He's into his bands and that, isn't he? Oh, is he? Yeah, yeah but he listens to a few podcasts and that's so why. Listen, if you got him on a debate, it was it was just his way. I can never have yeah. him. But you know what I mean. But um, he was he was a sick guy. Like, is he a manager now? Well, yeah. So that's the thing. When I um, when Burnley fucked me off, he phoned me on me last year and was like, "Lad, I'm becoming a manager." So he was trying to resurrect my career. He was saying, yeah. so we signed for Fleetwood, and he took me to Fleetwood, and then I fell out with him in the space of two months. I was training with the kids. Yeah, mad, didn't it? So, like, I was a player with Joey, and the next yeah. minute I fell out with Joey, and he's the manager, and I don't speak to him and that no more. So, I do speak to him. He dropped me a text when I, when I went to Blackpool and that, but it's just sad, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, but it's a different it dynamic, that though, isn't it? From being players together. Yeah. You need to get them, but then if he's like in charge, yeah, mm. you, if you don't like his decision, it's a bit that's, fractured, then, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I mean, but. It, it was it's different, isn't it? Obviously, I was probably I was shit though when I went there. My head was up my ass, literally. Um, I got released from Burnley. I never took any. I've never had like rejection in full team my whole entire life, yeah. apart from when Burnley fucked me off. So I couldn't really deal with it to be honest. Mm. Is there much help from Burnley when they like release you to sort of make sure your head's all right and that? How did you find out as well? Well, like, I found out of my agent. Well, I knew it was anyway because yeah. I think if they took the option up of another year, I was on a lot more money than what I was on. And he stayed in the Prem, so I thought they probably won't be staying anyway because I was I was at Northampton on loan for the full season the year before in League One and I think I only scored like nine goals, but obviously I knew that they weren't going to take it up because it would have been daft. But um, yeah, they actually didn't tell me, you know, it was my agent phoned me in, in my house. It was like, yeah, they're not really near me, which we knew. He was like, which mm. we know. I was like, yeah, it's sad. Yeah. When Dice will phone you. I'm still waiting for that phone call now, do you know what I mean? So that's why it's like disrespectful, I think, do you know what I mean? See, I don't think that's right, mate. That, no. Like, yeah. They should really, like, speak to you face to face and, like, at least give you that well, respect. Yeah. I mean, like, that's what I mean. Like, I missed pre season with Burnley, so I missed it when I first signed for them. And uh, I made my debut, and we actually played them, Kay Dons. And, um, lad, we think we won 3 1, and then he set a goal up when it came on. Came on for like 10 15 minutes. Lad, the whole team talk after that was about me. Yeah. Saying I didn't run hard, I didn't get blood in my lungs. I was looking around like, what the fuck's going on about? Yeah. I remember walking into the, into the, into the changes, like before, after that game, we've just won, I was like buzzing, maybe debut, you know what I mean? Nice, crack on now. Mm. I think it was like Jill Owen and Joey. Joey was just getting fit and he was just like, lad, keep your head in there. I was like, what do you mean, keep my head? Was like, just don't say anything back. So I was like, what are you going on about? <laughs> Next minute, lad, fucking, could you imagine dice red and face just like, <laughs> he, lad, he was cutting me off and I was like, well, it's one, three, one. <laughs> 
didn't say anything back to him. Shit, myself, like, yeah. Nah. But then, like, the game after we played Rotherham, came on for five minutes, lad. Literally, I won a flick on, and then the, the ref blues whistle. We won. Outstanding today. So I don't know if he was like. Like, trying to see how you, uh, you'd react. Reaction, you know what I mean? But, like, I'm a scouse kid, you know what I mean? So, like, <laughs> it is what it is. But, like, I, I'm not like a, a dickhead in, in the same support then. Yeah, it is what it is. But, yeah. It does seem harsh, that, like, especially yeah, like, being released. Like, in any other job, you'd be told to your face, wouldn't you? Yeah, so, well, I mean, after the year we got promoted, I was there for another two years and then went to Fleetwood and yeah, that one never really worked out, like. Yeah. It's been up and down since, like, basically left Everton, really. Yeah. yeah. So, do you know when you're at Northampton, you say you scored nine goals there? Yeah, it was not good, that. They got relegated last season. Oh, did they? I was yeah. going to say, was there not, like, sort of a force of staying there, maybe, because you were scoring there, or...? Well, no, the season before that, I was I went on loan. When, so, the season we went, we got promoted with Burnley. I went on loan to um, Fleetwood for six months, and then went to Bolton for six months. They were in the League One. And I got promoted with Bolton that season. And then... Went back to Burnley, done the season, and went to Northampton. So I don't, lad, I'm not gonna like be big time. I put a thought on better than Northampton. Yeah. I think I'm better than Fleetwood and that. Mm. Why did you not stay at Bolton? <laughs> did you not just not offer you a contract or? No, that was on loan. Oh, yeah. Was there, was there no like option to then stay there? Um, no, I think there was talks of me going back alone, but it never materialised. Like they, that was when they weren't really getting paid in there anyway. I oh, remember walking yeah. in like playing for Fame um, Bolton. My first like week. It was like paid. I, I signed like I think it was like the end of Jan. Yeah. And um, walking in the canteen, like signing there, and then fucking big David Wheaters fucking went to me. Oh, I like lad. He said, "Did you get paid yesterday?" I was like, "Yeah, lad." Because obviously I'm on loan, so Benny mm. still paying me though. Yeah. So, yeah, lad. He went, "Ah, we fucking never." <laughs> so I was like, oh, <laughs> "Heavy, do you know what I mean?" That must be absolutely mad atmosphere, that though. To oh, be yeah. in. Is well, it like, just mustn't want to train in that. Yeah. Just wouldn't, would you? That's what I mean. Well, boss club that though. I love my. I was only there for six months and I was sick. Like, yeah, the sort of the out of that financial like difficult. Yeah, no more. proper club, Bolton. Yeah, they were a prem. Yeah, they were a big club, weren't they? Especially yeah. when Allardyce was there, with like Ivan Campo and all players yeah, like proper that. Proper players, yeah. That's what I mean. The Cotchy, yeah. yeah. I was like my when I used to be prem prem sticker book and that. Bolton was sick, Stelios. But now nah, it was a um, stadium and that's proper in it. Yeah. yeah. But um, it's the shame what's happened to them because they shouldn't be with with the Ajax only like Sunderland and that now. Do you like them loans? Are they sort of? Do you feel part of that club still? I did at Brentford. Yeah. Um, Fleetwood have started off really well. Loved mm. it. But then just ended up being a little big time. Charlie in the end and fell out with Uwe Rosler. Mm. But that was just, I was young, 21. Like, I wish I had the head I've got on now. Yeah. I say it all the time that. Like, I wish I had the head I've got now. Signing for Burnley, you know what I mean? Because yeah. I know I would have cracked that on, you know what I mean? I think I've, since having my kids, but that's. Part and parcel of life, innit? You, yeah. you live and you learn, don't you? So, I've experienced all in footy. I'm 27 now, but just been a been a bit mad. Scotland, went, and then went to Scotland and then after Blackpool. What was the standard up there, like Scotland? Like, uh, like of, everyone always talks about, like, oh, would Rangers, Celtic and whatever be good in the Premier League? Like, yeah. what, like, would you compare that to, like, League One or League Two or...? Maddest league ever. Like, you can be playing Hamilton. He's probably, like, no disrespect to them, but they were, like, League Two standard. Then you yeah. want to go and play... Like a Hart and Hibs who were like lower championship. Yeah. Killy, like League One. And then you've got Rangers and Celtic who were like really good, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But now it's just weird. I loved it though. I, I love live the way that we lived. I moved to literally just had the baby and stuff. I needed to get me focused on my footy and literally just left me out and everything. I moved up with Chloe and, and, and the baby. It was just, that was the, one of my best times in footy I've had that. Yeah. And COVID fucking. Is that why you left there, was it? Um. No, so I, I done really well last se- last season. I think um, my first season, I think I was on I was on eleven goals and I was about I, we were third as well. So Motherwell third, it was like yeah. doing really well. And um, I was flying, I was scoring, I was playing well, best footy I've been playing in a while. And um, yeah, that COVID it, fuming. It's heavy that life. And yeah, so went, I remember being back in Liverpool. I went back and. Um, I was praying that the league, you know, continued because yeah. some of the some of the leagues actually continued, didn't they? Yeah, yeah some were yeah. cancelled, didn't they? Yeah. Did, didn't yeah. So I was praying that continued, but it never because I knew I would have finished on about probably about fifteen to eighteen goals. And yeah. That would have been a good return from like obviously getting that bad season with Burnley, Fleetwood, Blackpool. Do you know what I mean? So well, it is what it is, isn't it? What was that like being a footballer like in COVID then? Because like, were you released then? No. From Motherwell or? No, I was still, so March COVID it went, didn't it? Yeah. So I was still getting paid off Motherwell. Yeah. Stuck in my house. It was good, great being home, seeing all my family in there. Mm. Um, spending time 
with just Chloe and the baby it was it was really good. But you still training and stuff. No, you... no, because I'm in Liverpool, aren't I? And obviously my clubs in Scotland, so yeah, yeah. So it was, it was mad life. Um, it's a weird time of everyone's life. Yeah, it was, man. Did you play at um, Ibrox or like Celtic Park? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What was that? What was the better atmosphere? Would you say? Um, I will have played at Ibrox in pre-season with Burnley anyway, so I witnessed like I've experienced that before. But I don't know what the, the atmosphere. I don't know. Rangers fans remind me of Evan. Just get on the teams back when they're not playing well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's like like acid a bit, but the proper fans, you know what I mean? Celtic and Rangers that I went to an old firm, like Flannel used to get me tickets all the time, my first year. Yeah. And Scotty Arfield had a box, so me and Chloe he'd, he'd always invite me and Chloe and the baby to just go and watch like European nights and that. So I used to go to Ibrox quite a bit. But um yeah, the it's just incredible, it's different, isn't it? People yeah. like slag, like slag Scottish footy off sometimes, don't they? But them two clubs are just different. They're incredible, like. It's mad, isn't it, the way how big they are, considering there's only really them two that compete, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I nearly signed for Rangers. No one, I've obviously, I've been off me that free deal. Yeah. Rangers won the clubs because Mark Warburton was the manager of Brentford. Yeah, yeah. I was on loan at Brentford, and Mark Warburton left that, that season. And went became the manager of Rangers. Yeah. Like they have me a four year deal to go to, to go there, but I chose Burnley. You regret not going. Um, yeah, we'll continue. I imagine being a hero at Rangers, lot. But that was it. They probably win stuff at Rangers too, wouldn't you? Well, like, that's what I mean. And, but they were in the Scottish Champ, that was when they were oh, coming back up. Yeah. But, yeah, I remember my agent actually saying, because David Weir was the assistant manager. Mm. I ended up playing. I remember Peas, I remember um, That's what we called them, Peas. Peas and, Peas and Gravy, Davey. But, um, <laughs> so they. <yeah. laughs> But they, Davey, um, he ended up saying, just come and have a look at the training ground, come look at the stadium. My agent was like, listen, no, because you'll go up there and you, and you won't want to come back. No, because the stadium's incredible and you, the, the stature of that club. So that's why I ended up, ended up going to Burnley and that. Mm. Oh. Do you know what Ibrox is? That's sort of a similar stadium to Goodison. Yeah. Where it's like this, I don't even know what they're called. I know, like, the, 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 like blue X's. Yeah, on, that, what, yeah, what's that's, on the Bullens? Yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. What, what definitely wooden seats too. Someone said that, someone said that, they were like the good, someone built it, I don't think the same person built it though, but it does remind you, it's got a feel of Goodison, do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Nah, it is sick there. I'd love to go to an old fan derby one day, mate. Yeah, toxic, like. Is it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I went when I went Ibrox and um, Celtic won yeah. at Ibrox, so I think that's probably why it was toxic, <laughs> you know what I mean? But nah, it was, it was a boss experience living there, like. Do you, do you know when, like, talking about atmospheres like that, hostile, like, do you know when you're on the pitch and someone shouts something at you? Can you mm. hear it? Do you ever think, like, to, to react to it? Yeah, you do hear it, yeah. especially up there, they don't give a fuck. What's yeah. the funniest thing been shouted at you? I don't think I... God knows, you know. Just get slagged off all the time. Just obviously the dodgy ones when you just get your fucking shit and that, but <laughs> just laugh them off, do you know what I mean? Yeah. If any, if, if they say anything, I'd probably do a cancel if someone said something about me kids, do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> just like, stupid, so understand. But nah, the... Um, they're just fickle fans, aren't they? When they yeah. say so. Do you know what? Do, when you play lower league, because there's not that many fans, you're always here, the odd person. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So you can hear like them clear as day. Where I think obviously like the, the prem teams at the full stadium, so we just don't even see anything. Do you know what I mean? Like hearing anything because it's yeah. that loud. But them lower league, because there's not that many fans, you can yeah you can properly hear what people say to you like. Yeah. Not yeah. a fit of swear, you know, lower league and that, like, mm. me half like, I used to watch, like, Bootle Books and all that, like, well, lower, right? Yeah. But that's, like, I, I went to a match once, right, and it was, I think, City, City Liverpool or something like that, and it's mm. the only place I've only ever heard yeah. someone show six second rule, dickhead, to the goal. <laughs> <Shut> <laughs> <up>. <laughs> you ever heard anyone show that no. six second rule? <laughs> Is that rule ever, ever, no, ever been never. given? You know what I mean? He was all on to for ages. Yeah. Does it seconds. exist, does it? No, it doesn't. He was the best player that you've played against and with. Tough that you know, because obviously it could be like, because obviously that World Cup team, some of the lads have had careers which is like, a, have like proper serious careers, you know what I mean, and still are now. Um, it's tough on that though, you know, like I played against Pogba when I was a kid at Everton, I'm like Rezies all yeah. the time, and I was like two years older than me and that, but he was used to watch him and just go, oh, wow, he's, he's a serious player, but first at Everton, P and I was just. He was serious, yeah. Like, Peanut and beans. Loved, like, 
Yeah, he was. Sick. That's why he loved F 50s because when we stopped them dreadlocks and he yeah. played F fifties, he was serious. <laughs> Pinar, <laughs> yeah. Pinar and Baines, yeah. But Pinar was a joke. Like he was heavy in training because I didn't. Really, obviously, I only played once for the first team and wasn't with the like full thingy. But when I wasn't saying Pinar was a joke. Ross, Ross was a joke. Yeah. He just like for how big he is, you wouldn't think he's like technically he's serious. Well, yeah. When he come through, I thought he, we were so hot this, don't we? I thought he was going to be like a ah, Gerard type thing or whatever. Yeah. But it just hasn't like, but he went to Chelsea, didn't he? He's at Nice, isn't he now? Yeah. I would have took him back, me after Chelsea, but... I think it's just the way he left, isn't it, but... Yeah, that's what I mean. Can I imagine his first bad pass after that's the what I mean, yeah. game, but... <laughs> Grounds and explodes. That's, no, that's not mad, though, like, like Echo and him. No, we had that, you no, know, with like the LFA you know, as well, man. LFA, oh, yeah, yeah, we had a team, and we and like then you and Barry in midfield are heavy as well. You look now and you're like, what? Oh, no. so that's what I mean. Like last season was was painful, wasn't it? I took our, our dude because I want our dude to be an Evertonian. Yeah, so I took I took my son to the um, the Boreham Boreham game last oh, year. Yeah, I thought, yeah. you know, when I'm gonna take him to a game where I know we're gonna slap a team. <laughs> And um, yeah, I don't think we scored the goal in the first half. It's two nil, then, then he got, got bored. Then he got he was too cold, and then we didn't score. And then he's just too. like that. But at the minute, he's saying like, one day he's to Liverpool, which obviously my sister's fellow won't be too happy about, and <laughs> his little cousins will be fuming about. But the next day he sports Everton, so Adam's gonna not gonna pressure him to be a footballer or not like that. Love yeah. him to be, but um, let him decide who he wants to support. Yeah, it's gonna be one of them pressurised dads because my my dad and my mum were never portrayed me to be like Liverpool Everton. Do you know what I mean? Because they weren't even a football family. Yeah. But, um, yeah, my uncle, my uncle, my uncle Phil will be fuming now that I'm, I'm saying Liverpool or Everton. <laughs> yeah. But now. Nah. Might support Everton because you play for Everton. Show him that goal. Yeah, I'll show him that goal. <laughs> you made off. But that's what I mean. Like, that's why I, I, I want to get back to playing at, like, like a high level where I know like I should be. Yeah. Because then, nothing better than imagine him watching, like, as our man. Yeah. Like, netting a few in, like, like, six stadiums, you know what I mean? You're a crew at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Um, How's it like going with that? Well, it was my decision. To, I, off, I could have stayed at Motherwell, but mm. I ended up getting homesick a bit. I don't know why. Um, probably, I don't know, a lot of sh- stuff happened in the second year in Motherwell, so I decided to move back home and I told my agent, listen, if I'm going back to League One, I want to stay in my house because I didn't live in my house for yeah, nearly yeah. two years. So, crew with the team who came in for me and they done well last season, the the season before I signed, he's like the most chances, so I was like, Do you know what, I've never been to a, a team in League One apart from MK Dons where yeah. it's just total soccer and crew were known for just playing soccer, yeah. do you know what I mean? So I was like, here I'll go there and I'll net a few and everyone will be like, how oh, long he's back, do you know what I mean? He's been in Scotland for a few, they've done alright in Scotland, but first year it was just a bit, a bit of a circus last year, but personally i done well, I missed a lot of games due to Covid. Did, did you get player of the year? I played, yeah, yeah. T- t- double figures. I think we played like started like twenty odd times, scored ten goals in the league. So personally, it was a good season for me. But the team, what team was, it was wasn't great. And yeah. then, so I thought this year, I like obviously I've never played in league two in my life. I think oh, I'll be I'll be bang at it. Yeah, I've had the most unfortunate injury I've ever had in my whole entire career. I've been out since the second week of pre season. What happened? I had a shot. I played, we played Nantwich because Nantwich is like close to crew. I had yeah. a shot again. Nantwich played 45, lad, and carried on with it. Ended up having a grade two tear, and it's just I've been rushed back. It's been a bit of a mad situation at the club, to be honest, because fucking like they named me vice captain and everything, so I thought I'd be bang at it this year, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I um, haven't kicked the ball since Lincoln in League One last year, basically. When do you think he'll be back? Next, uh, I'll be starting November, I think. Open yeah. Top. yeah, so get me on first goal score like when I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, yeah, I, um, I'm not. I, I miss it. Proper miss playing footy. You know what I mean? That's why yeah. when I watched them, um, when I watched Lonnie last night, which gave me goosebumps watching him playing against Liverpool. You know what I mean? And yeah. Obviously, need to get back to playing footy. Just miss it. What's it like? It's like the rehab? Because like, is it not much like actually with a football? Yeah. It must uh, be. But I can well, I've, been, I've been in a boot. I got out of a boot three days ago, so I've been having a big space boot on for like. <laughs> Probably about a month. So yeah. the club have been good with me. To be fair, I've been stuck in that gym for nearly since July. Start. Have you ever heard the ski egg? Yeah. I had my hands are butchered off it with my hands. <laughs> I'm a beast now, do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but now, nah, um, literally, just that's what it means getting fit, upper yeah. bodies and that. Because I'm in a boot, so my leg went a bit skinny. But um, club let me go on Aldi last week, so I took the kids, went away, just went to Spain, 
um, and the likes as well the other week. Probably not what the fans want to be here, and you know, <laughs> like three fans, but I needed to, obviously it's good for my mentality because my head's been up, to, like, up the wall because I'm not playing football. Yeah. My life resolves around football. Is that the worst injury you've ever had? That's not even a bad injury, that's the thing, that's why my head's been a bit thingy. Like, I've had yeah. hernias and I've had like tears in me, um, like, I've had a hematoma in my leg and stuff like that, but this has been like a preve- like a pre- like a preventable injury, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, should, I should have been back in six weeks, lad, it's nearly four months now. Yeah. So, I think they've tried to rush me back a bit too soon, like, on three occasions, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but nah, if I've done it all properly now, so it should be sweet. By rushing your back, do you mean like, have they thrown you in on the bench or the, like... I don't want to throw them under, do you know what I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> but nah, um, it's been a bit mad, like, but once I'm back, I'll get them like, promoted, so it'll be sweet. <laughs> Fans will keep complaining then. <laughs> That's what I mean, but like, like, obviously the, the club's not like a, like a really, the fa- like, fan base isn't massive, like, but yeah. I get messages all the time saying, like, I need you back, I need you back. So I'm like, yeah, I'm, I want to be back myself, do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but nah, yeah. Do you have What's any the- sh- superstitions before you play or anything? Um, yeah, let's say my grand. I never met my granddad, like man, and my cousin's granddad. I never met, never met him. He was a big mm. blue. He comes everywhere with me, lad. Got like a little thing what my nan gave me. Yeah. Like, a little prayer thing. I don't pray, but like he just. I have to stick him in my pocket. Yeah. Just know he's there, you know what I mean? Like watching me and that. So that's like my superstition, like being yeah. that part of like my granddad. You know, obviously, I, he, I've never met him. Yeah. Mm. So that's like a superstition. Um, I have to kiss I my wash bags with my two kids on, so I have to kiss that and my yeah. bed, so I have to kiss that three times before I walk out and that. Oh yeah. Yeah, my bed will be made off now. <laughs> <laughs> be in the good books. Yeah, yeah. But what's your uh, what's your pre match meal? Of a morning. Like before the match, yeah. Um the night before, it's like salmon, sweet potato mash and and veg, but a lot of the beetroot, yeah. Yeah. Got to have like at least a beetroot ball, lad, from Sainsbury's. Weird, that, isn't it? Just one ball? Yeah. <laughs> Why is that? Just super food, in it? Someone says, go for your blood. So, lad, <laughs> as well, lad, that, that's like the night before. That's if I'm in my house, not like if we've travelled away. Mm. And then the standard Saturday morning, I wake up at like, set me alarm for 10 o'clock. So routine now. Um, go downstairs, bang soccer I am on. Watch a bit of that. Make me um, scrambled egg, beans on toast. Have a weasel bix with some fruits, go and get a shower, and then fly the game. Like Does anyone else like have a weird like pre match? Does anyone get a machies or anything that you know? Like yeah. a for the match or anything? Oh, what there probably is, but me, yeah, it's probably because of on the situation, like trying to think. Yeah. But there is some mad people, like, oh, yeah, to be fair, superstition. Dice used to walk, used to count the steps away on away games, he used to um, walk. Some touch line to touch line and counter steps to, and then with the width to width. Yeah, that's for steps. But yeah. Tom Eaton done that, the skip as well. Tom Eaton was the captain. And he done that. Counter steps. It's just like. How would you even start that? Because he knew how big, how many steps Turf Moor was. Turf Moor. He knew the how big Turf Moor was. Yeah. So then, if we play like wolves or whatever, you'd go and measure them, and then you go like, "This is a bit shorter than ours," or this or whatever. Bit that, weird. Oh, so we do it at every ground. Yeah, that's a mad one. Like, away, like away, yeah. yeah. Joe and Joe, I used to watch Joey because obviously he was me, you know, and lad used to when I was like on the bench or whatever at Bernie the first year. I used to sit next to Joey, and he used to have this like he used to bang his headphones on, and he, lad, he just got in the zone. I've never seen a player get in the zone as much as him. <laughs> Yeah, people and that snus shit like that. What is that? I don't know. Well, to be honest, I've tried, like, it's like a footballer's thing, innit? It's like a t- t- like tobacco type thing. What is it? Like, it's like Scandin- stimulated? Like a like Scandinavian thing. thing. No, it's not enhancing. It's not like a drug or that. It's just like a... Yeah, is it like having a coffee? In a, yeah, in a sense. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, it's not me, that. I don't know what I always see it on like, TikTok and that. <laughs> and it's like stale and it's being caught because his lips like big. Yeah, it's not like illegal and that. I don't, I don't know what it is. It's just, it's some like, like I think like, it's like a Scandinavian thing, like, like Norwegians, like Swedish people and that. They, they like, have it a bit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, not me, that. <laughs> Mad, isn't it? Yeah, probably. We had loads of the, like the Prem boys and that, they don't you? You always see them. So you ever see them with the sun on the top lip? It's mm. like. That's another nice thing. There's something last year, like Holgate, like I was in COVID actually, like mm. sniffing something weren't there. Do you know, in Holgate. the tunnel? Yeah. Oh, they'll be the, the salts. You get these um, proper strong thingy salts, lad. They're rough, you know. What happened? Perfect, you 
Mm. So obviously, it, before the game, you get don't care what everyone says, but you don't get nervous. Like you get you get a mad feeling. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. So that's just zapped you in a sense, and when you have these salts, lad, it's like that wow, burns all yeah. Yeah. That's, that's just a natural thing. Where, where can you get them from? <laughs> <laughs> to be, when the lads are crude the week, had, he had he got them off Amazon, yeah. <laughs> and um, lad, they were the strongest ones I've ever had in my life. And he had them last year, lad. They literally burnt. You could just feel your brain. You know, <laughs> lad, you know, just literally just salts and you're just sniffing. It's ever allowed to do that. Yeah, it, well, that's what I mean. It's just, like they pick it up the proper, like it's natural. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It, the, the mad them like. Do you get him um, drug tested like as a footballer? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, mad. Like you get drugs after a lot. I've been drugs after loads. Yeah. Mad that like, isn't it? Because like I, I was listening to something today. Apparently, boxers or some of them like don't even get tested. Yeah, I'm fuming. Yeah. I had sick of that U bank band fight. I'm fuming. Oh, that's heavy. Like, it's like, the maddest thing ever, isn't it? I like Conor Ben as well. I'm fuming. Still yeah, like he has done. Well, he has done. I didn't like U bank, but now he's came out to like sound. I don't mind him, but like, Ben was like wanting them to do. I had a bet with that. I'm to be fair. He had. Yeah, he had U-Bank. I, I would have thought U-Bank would have yeah. been, to be fair. But, and then now he's a drug seat, so now I'm thinking to myself, has he been do- is he being at that for the past couple of fights? Because he looked really good, kind of been any, but... Yeah. I still like him, me, like, but just a shame, really, isn't it? It's just... Because I wanted to go to London and watch that fight. The build-up to it was immense as well, weren't it? Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. It was, it was good life. It's it's a new man yeah. yeah, be boxed. I think Liam Smith for doing. Do you that be the echo? Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't. I'll be a bigger venue. That's surely. You have to back the scouts, the fellow scouts, like haven't you? So yeah, love him to beat you, bang. Yeah, it'd be sick, yeah. wouldn't it? We went to the uh, Farla one, didn't we? That was a, <laughs> yeah. that was a mad night. Who, who did you want to win? Smith. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I mean. Just, just straighteners everywhere yeah. in the crowd. Yeah. In the crowd, was like it? Loads, round, round three, there's just like a fucking twenty man brawl. <laughs> <Just, laughs> you end up just getting distracted from the fight yeah, itself yeah. and just watching that, and you pay your money to go and thingy. That's what happened. We went to the UFC to watch um, like our mate fight in the UFC did the week, and like the first time we went to London, there was not, and I was like, so I call him lad. Don't get me wrong. This UFC is different because when you go to the echo, and there's always fighting and that. Lad. <laughs> Two fights happened and he were right by us and I was like, ah, oh. he was wounded. But I think it's just like just full of lads getting off like drinking and then everyone thinks they're dead hard. So <laughs> oh God knows, just fucking enjoy your time. What's the fight you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you weren't a footballer, what do you reckon you'd do? What'd you be doing? I'd be a footballer, no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, um, my dad had his, had his own business, so I'll probably something to do with that. Or I don't know. Me and I can't. I grew up playing footy, so I've always wanted to be a footballer. I wanted to be like Michael Owen, didn't I? But yeah. obviously, my career's not like what he's had. But um, that's, that's always been my dream, and obviously, I've made a living out of it so far, and yeah. I'll just obviously carry on doing what I'm doing. Have you ever seen a player do something like mad and saying, like, pick it out top bins from like the halfway line? It's been like wow. Um, yeah, there is. There's been like the best player of. Uh, well, I've said the best player, but I'm, I remember being in Sainham once, and there's been like three players who've really stuck out, and it's always been on international duty. Yeah. And but when I went away with the eighteens, and no one heard of Jacob and Josh Murphy, the two twins. They came away the first time, and everyone was like, "Who, who were these?" Because they didn't come to the trials when we were fifteen. Like, who were these and that? And then lad, they were just scoring bangers, lad, and everyone <laughs> was like, "What? Wow, they're heavy." Do you know what I mean? And then obviously they've had really good careers yeah. like now. Um, they were my age. I remember watching Nathan Edmund and I've never seen anyone that sharp in my life. But he's older than me. When I went to Styles, lad, he was just sharp yeah. as anything like. Seen some mad things as well, like in footy, but it's just funny, innit? It? Just lads, innit? It? Just sick. <laughs> but do you know like Kane? Everyone makes out like he's dead born. Like mm. what was he like or like do you know in that England squad who was like sort of who had the biggest personalities in that dressing room type thing? Five Scousers went. Really? Yeah. Like, there was me. Uh, well, five, when I say five Scousers, there was... There was five lads from Everton and two lads from Liverpool. Mm. Two lads from Liverpool? Oh, one lad. Oh, yeah, two lads from Liverpool. So, I was chilling with, like, the Scousers. I the youngest, so I think they all look, looked after me. But, um, yeah, they were... It was it, like, Stonesy, Garbs, me, Ross, Lunny, and then Cody and Flannel. Like Flannel was a character. Still speak to Flannel now, he's legend. Where like, is he now? Um I think he was in you know what crew wanted him to come in and say so we need to worry up and come in, you know what I mean? But yeah. I don't know what's going on what's going on. He was in I think he was at Danny Agger's team last week, ain't he? Daniel, Where is that? Daniel Agger was in wherever he's from, like Denmark. In Denmark, is it? I think yeah. so, yeah. yeah. But um no, he's, he's hilarious. Um. Have you had, ever had any like office from abroad? Um, from Scotland. Scotland <laughs> yeah, Scotland. I remember 
when I got fucked off from Burnley, Adam Lufthansa messaged me and he was at Sydney in Australia and he was asking me to go on loan and that day. That never really materialised, but that's the only thing I've ever like. Yeah, it's a big commitment that like, isn't it? Moving to the other side of the world. Yeah, don't be wrong, I get these dodgy Polish agents all the time messaging me to DM me. Yeah. And I had to tell my agents about one the other week and it was actually a concrete offer, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But they're just a dodgy, you know what I mean? Like to go to a Polish club. Oh, yeah, yeah, I couldn't imagine me <laughs> eating like all mad Polish food and that. We'd better be female living in Poland. No <laughs> disrespect to Poland, but do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but nah, I would, because the, their fans are serious, aren't they? Yeah. I think, oh, did, I go to, did the um, Rangers ever play League of Warsaw? I'm sure I went to that, like a game like I that. I feel like they have. And the dad. Or like Poznan or someone like that. And the ki- there was a keeper who used to play for Celtic and he was in the away end. Ah, it's a Boric. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Scored against him when he was at Bournemouth. He had made with the Rangers fans three times. I was on his Wikipedia one night, don't even ask right yeah. <laughs> And apparently he, he does some like sign, yeah. which obviously the Celtic fans like. Which is like I don't know what, if it's an IRA sign or something. Mm. And he'd done it once and he got banned for it. And the next season he'd done it again to the Rangers fans. Oh, well, and then he got like a big massive fan, like nearly inciting a riot. In sure. Yeah. He'd be a hero f- with the Celtic fans. Yeah, though, I know. He? That's what I mean, like if you're a hero for one of them. I was literally watching him last night, Lonnie, just thinking, lad, he's a, he'll be a legend now for scoring that goal to the fans. Yeah. You know what I mean? Incredible, like, their fans are just incredible. What's been your favourite goal you've scored in your career? <sighs> Probably, I'd say Paderborn, because it, yeah. Thingy, but like when I was like Sunday League and that, I remember scoring like 12 in one game in Camp Hill once, but <laughs> the um, lad I've, do- I've done some kid proper dirty once, it's been me better lad, I think it's on like, remember when everyone black breeze and that? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's still on me, one of my black breeze, like on um, like the SIM card, you know, the SIM card, the, the, um, the memory, whatever thing, when I used to get it, the, yeah. like extra storage. I think it was under 18s, lad, I've McGee, like been played in him behind, yeah. I've just kept the ball in, but I'm on the byline, touchline, obviously, their keeper, and the centre half, I've played with this lad, yeah, he's like two years older than me, don't want him saying his name, because I've done him dirty, he's only me. <laughs> 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 yeah. And um, so anyway, I've got to the byline, so we, obviously you'd think that you'd just like hold it, or like try and win a corner or whatever, or pass it back to like the full back, but lad, I've just... So I mean, I just clicked and I've like, I've McGeady spinning, yeah. <laughs> and my baby thought when he kept it online, he flipped yeah, it yeah, yeah. But I've McGeady spinned and it's went through his legs and I've got it the other side, yeah. <laughs> and I've just whacked it top sta- like stanchion from a dodge, like a mad angle. Yeah. And I was like, what? I was heavy that. Like, <laughs> sick, do you know what I mean? But that was like, the, I think I played up as well. For, I was like 16 then, for, like for the youth team. And um, yeah, and I've played that lad now for, he, he was at crew. And I, and I, <laughs> everywhere, I've, I was at Blackpool with him as well and crew. I remember saying, lad, do you remember that goal? Lad, he remembers it. Having <laughs> <laughs> nightmares about it. Yeah, it was sick though, but he's always been my teammate. I've ever, actually, I can play against him this year in this league, so I'm going to try on him, don't yeah. I? Mean? <laughs> do you know what? I bet you, you've been asked this question loads. I'm going to have to ask you. Mm. Do you know, because you're on FIFA, do yeah. you get given a 99 rated card for your own ultimate team? Well, I've never been given any card, me. No, I, 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 I think all the, like, the big, like the big boys, like all the prem teams, probably you know what I mean. Probably have like, but I've never been given anything. Like, oh, any I card, thought me. like if you were a pro, I just presumed if you're on FIFA, you got given like the ninety nine card yeah. for your own club. That's what I mean. Well, I don't, I don't know how many FIFAs I've been on, like you know what I mean. But I've never been given that. And me, just used to get it free. I'm still waiting for me free copy now. Like, <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> but um, nah, um, I've never been given nothing apart from the actual game, like. Yeah, mm. oh, that's bad. That I, I wonder if people watching for that. Too. I just presume I didn't know that like myself. No, I think mm. I given like loads of people like say they play like a pro. They like take a picture of the team and it's like ninety nine leads <laughs> a player. Yeah, yeah. I'm shit. Uh, to be honest, I love, used to love FIFA, but since I've had kids, I haven't got time to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I used to play FIFA all the time. After every session, I used to go to our columns and I used to have this set up in in his mars uh, his mars house and like this red dream lad. We used to just play against each other for hours, lad. <laughs> I used to terrorise me. <laughs> uh, me like the four like me like me three best mates my cousin Callum Dom and Joe obviously Joe was terrible at FIFA and so was Dom but Callum used to give me an half decent game to FIFA <laughs> what was um, it like training with Esso and Lukaku or Evan well that's an, I didn't really um, Lukaku used to like teach you yeah so mm. speak used to sound like a yank as well he speaks like American <laughs> weird you know <laughs> But um, I didn't really once once to score that goal in there. Yeah. Obviously, I trained a, f- a couple of times with them, and then when I made my debut, went alone. Then I for the me rest remaining six months. Yeah. So like when I would train, I think I've trained with like um, 
play, seeing the most with them that pre-season, but obviously I thought signed late on, so yeah. I didn't really train with them as much, you know what I mean? Um, what was his sessions like, Martinus? Decent, yeah. You say he's the best manager you've had in terms of that? Not for me, nah. no. I will... No, because the daily off him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd probably say the best manager I've had was probably... Um, probably Mark Warburton. Yeah. I think he was boss, you know what I mean? And um, apart from like the coaches when I was a kid at the academy, Stephen Robinson was good at Mudwell. Had a bit of a coming to do with him the second year, but nah, he, he was good. I think this manager, the crew, though, he's, he's going to be good, you know, he's only young. But he, he, he wants to play football, I think, at the minute. Obviously, the lads aren't playing well because he hasn't got his main players, quite a few lads injured, but they, I think yeah. this manager will be good, you know. He didn't really have like a career, but mm. you can see that. He, like, he'll be a good manager, like. Yeah, do you know when a new manager comes in? Mm. Do you sort that have to earn the players' respect? Like, do you think does, does he's he? playing up to the players sometimes? Like, when a, if, say, if a manager comes in, yeah. like the same way a player would to impress a manager? It's more us. We 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 get like a... Because I've, obviously I've um, played for a few, quite a few clubs, you know what yeah. I mean? Normally when a manager gets sacked, it's like, it, I, I, feel, I feel like, wow, some fella's just got his... He's just been sacked yeah. up because of me. But um, once you come in, you need to like... Because he's just got a whole different... Like... Thing, like mindset and he compared yeah. to the old manager so and they're not his players he's just came into this new club and mm. so everyone gets to pick up every every single player so that's why you see like obviously a man gets sacked and the next day they end up winning or going on a run the team. Yeah. so you do get a proper pick me up but it's just a mad one I've, I've had a few clubs where new managers come in it's just a it's, it's an horrible feeling but then it's a good feeling it's like it's horrible it's just a mad feeling like yeah when he gets sacked did he come in and like sort of say bye to everyone or and he's just gone. Nah, they're just gone. That must be mad, though. Yeah. Weird. And then you, just, you, know, and you text them. Yeah. It's a bit and then shit, you never speak it? again. Yeah. yeah. Keep in touch, like, you, you, and you don't. Yeah. What's that happened? Three, I think I've had three managers who've, who've been sacked, and it's just shit, you know what I mean? Mm. Like, Did you ever text a manager saying, like, how oh, can I come to that club? Or is, the, is that, like, not allowed? Is that, like, tapping up, is it? Whatever it's called. Is it a manager texting you? Yeah, or the or the that, that's, way that's thing. actually happened to me. Like, like um, a manager phoning me and like saying, "Do you want to come in that?" But yeah. I've never been in a situation where I'm texting a manager saying, "Can I come?" You know what I mean? That's yeah, that's where your ego comes into it. You know what I mean? But nah, it's just I have that's happened to me in the past where managers are phoning me. Not like, yeah. Do you know when you've joined all the clubs, you have had to do like an initiation yeah. song and that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, what songs have you had to do? Oh, I've went from Build Me Up Buttercup to the. Uh, <laughs> I'm the best thing now. Hey, is it Hey Jude? <laughs> yeah, Hey Jude, because of our Jude. Because obviously my son's called Jude. That's just me go to. Hey Jude now. Yeah. <laughs> and obviously I've played for quite a few teams, so I don't. I, mean, I don't mind it now. Yeah. But yeah. I'm coming into like my age now, and there's younger players, so they don't even. Some of them don't even know who the Beatles are. Do you know what I mean? Which is this is better for <laughs> fellow sc- like scouts. Yeah. You know yeah. What I mean? But yeah, it's like I'm seeing scholars now. We were like born in 2000. Like I'm 10. Like 2005. And, like what? Man. Yeah, that lad the other day was fifteen to play for Arsenal. Yeah. I think he's born in two thousand and seven. That's that's inc- like what? Wow. Scary though. I don't know. It's incredible, isn't it? Mad. What's the worst song you've ever seen someone do for like an ni- initiation song? Way- it's cr- I hate it though. It's proper cringy. I just get up singing and just get off. Do you know what I mean? But there's yeah. people who like proper belt it out and think that they're funny, <laughs> and it's not. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> there's some people who can really sing. Now, there's a lot. There's actually a young lad a crew who um, brought his guitar. And had a go in his car, and he, he's, he, he actually <laughs> he does gigs, so people actually pay him to go. Like he plays for crew, as like I think he's a, he's a young lad, so obviously he's playing footy. But then yeah. he'll gig in there. That's so, mad. Yeah, yeah, sick though, isn't it? Like he's got two talents. You couldn't imagine like you couldn't imagine a footballer doing that. Like, nah. if you're playing footy, you think oh yeah, you're so good. Yeah, that's what I mean. What I mean. It, it is incredible. Like you hear some mad like stories about like people like working. Like there was a lot of crew who was working in a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> I'm playing for crew at the same time. Is he a pro? He he what he was a pro, but he was just standing in a few quid. That's so, mad. But yeah, but um, it's just it is mad. Like Ricky doing Ricky Lambert was in, like in a factory or something. Mean. Yeah, yeah. So it is mad. Like some some thing he's won't get me wrong. He had to swear the Chinese restaurant. I think he was a scholar at the time. Yeah. And obviously, when he became pro, I think he'd been the Chinese restaurant probably. <laughs> But nah. Why did someone recognise them? <laughs> yeah. Like, like, he'd work in the channel and you'd be like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever had, like, a mad encounter with someone recognising you anyway? Um, more, you know, when I've done, when I've done Paddy's podcast, like, podcast, quite a few people come 
thingy now. Yeah. Um, but when I was in Scotland, because it's a top league, because it's their first division, so yeah, they yeah. they have like an equivalent of match of the day up there. So obviously you'd be on that, and obviously mm. match of the day down here yeah. because it's like it's the best, yeah. isn't it? Mm. So in Scotland you'd walk through Glasgow and the old people would come. Yeah, which was which was good. Are they always like positive or are they negative? Sometimes? Nah, they they were they were positive. Like to be yeah. fair, I don't think I've ever had like a bad encounter with the fan. Like, I think if you played for, but I've never seen anything like it. So I remember going for the scrum with them. Um, Scott Arfield when I first went to, to, to Glasgow when I didn't mm. realise how big Rangers and Celtic were. Mm. We went for something to eat and we're crossing the road and lad, like these two, we were in like quite a nice like area. So you wouldn't think like people would say anything but these well dressed women. I just went Scotty like <laughs> <laughs> So it was it, it was a bit mad. That's that's when I first realised how fucking big like they are up yeah. there, you know what I mean? Who's Mother Wells like? Derby, the Rivals. Hamilton. What was that like as a derby? Uh, Motherwell actually got really good fans. Motherwell's yeah. fans are really good, but Hamilton, are, uh, the fans are terrible. Are they the one that do, they don't have that. like a stand behind a goal or something like that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's terrible. Have I been, I've been sent off against them. In the derby, yeah. <laughs> what for? <Yeah. laughs> like, it's just stupidness. I think I kicked the ball away, got a yellow card, and then the second one was like. What's it like being sent off? Stupid. I've been sent off. Regret it straight I've away. Had, I've been sent off three times in my career. Um, <laughs> one of them, um, one of them, I shouldn't have got sent off. The other two, yeah, but it's just horrible. What did you do for the other Especially one? Especially the Motherwell one was the worst. I felt like the manager came at me. Ma- the manager proper flipped on me and that. Yeah. It was Derby. I got sent off before half time. A few of the players came up to me and that. Like, yeah. like, I couldn't even say sorry because no one like they're, they're coming at you. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'd be, Big Declan Gallagher coming up to me going, you fucking stupid dickhead. <laughs> in, in a Scottish accent as well. And my manager was from Northern Ireland. So these are all accents which, like, they're angry, do you know what I mean? <laughs> well, I've just been sent off in the derby. It was a bit heavy. But I scored, like, in that league, you play against the teams, like, three or four times, don't you? Mm. Which is a bit mad. But I scored, like, I think I was, like, two and two as well. So I knew I could score goals against Hamilton. And we were obviously trying to get in Europe. And, um, yeah, I got sent off in that game, which was a bit... <laughs> but I'd be like, how much is the fan for like a red card at like Scottish like league level? Uh, it depends on the club. I don't even know what they find me you now. Did the mm. club find you? Or they do get fined. When I got fined, I was on loan from the other club sending off Bolton and Fleetwood yeah. and Phil Parkinson and at Bolton. He said he was going to find me two weeks' wage. I knew they lost us. Oh, bloody hell, that's Yeah, sick. I knew they lost us. said he was going to find me two weeks' wage. And lad, they actually never find me two weeks' <laughs> wage. That's all. Are you lad? Well, I, I think they probably couldn't because I was obviously getting paid off. Me, me mate, well, Bernie, I was a Bernie, man. I was, yeah. was alone with them two teams. Yeah. So, yeah. Do you know that Osler? Rosler. Rosler, Rosler, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who was he at? He what? was a city, city, city psycho, ain't he? Was pick, he Wolves city. manager at one point? He was Brentford manager. He's been a, a German club manager. Is he, he bald? Yeah. Did, yeah. Didn't he go for like a proper stage of being at loads of clubs? Eh? Leeds, he went to Leeds. Yeah. 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 Lad, he was a good manager, eh? I loved, he, I loved yeah? it under him, but then... Yeah, we fell out, we fell out as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you want you fall out with a manager? Yeah. Is there normally no going back from it? Um, no. Depends how you'd fall out, but I've seen like lads who've literally been at the like nah, never playing for me again, so I end up being like the one of the main players. Yeah, yeah that's mad. It's like fickle, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's like we're fans, isn't it? Yeah, it is horrible. You shouldn't like. I just me one of me like me regrets is obviously falling out with Joey because he was. Me mate and me team mate, but it's just mad, isn't it? Yeah. It's what it is. Do you want any more questions? Or we get yeah, we have a um, section, name a random Premier League baller. Like I've forgotten one. Yeah. A random Premier League baller. And this can be back in the day. Uh, literally any. Like as obscure as you can get that no one will remember. Oh, You actually said a good one before, Stelios was a good one before. Stelios, big Stelios, so I might go with another slap at him. <laughs> <laughs> big Pascal Seagal. Who did he play for? Wow. How old are you? 21. Yeah, 21 as well. You don't remember Pascal Seagal? Pascal, what? Seagal? Yeah. Pascal Seagal. No, I don't Don't remember the big centre half for Arsenal. No, <laughs> that, that, I'm usually quite on the ball. That's ball, a good one, that, you know. That's probably one of the best ones you've had, yeah. Who are you laughing at? Sure, that's oh, that's not a new come to me. Um, a random one. 
I'm off with Figaro. Why did you go first? Nah, I had Figaro with a few. Did you? Can't have that. Figaro. Uh, remember, <laughs> then he scored a worldie. Yeah, yeah halfway there. Remember that again? Yeah. He's gonna go for Stephen Davis. Steve. Edgar Davids. That, that's not really random. That's, a, that's, that's a, that. a thing you want now. That's, that's not really? random. Can I not have that? Nah. I'll go. I have another one now. Emerson Boyce. Emerson Boyce. Little Wiggins. Yeah. Sizes, but I'm. <laughs> Big sizes. Remember him. <laughs> and we normally get finished up with um, what's your favourite pint or like drink, drink. yeah um, Alhambra what's that I'll good gear I've never heard have you heard Sp- of that Spanish beer lot nah that's the first time we've had them yeah they do um, the bottles are t- strong as anything to be honest uh, yeah. Yeah. I, the, the kids got christened and I end up get, getting a few crates so I think a few of Chloe's family had a few and they were a bit worse for wear. Like, but, <laughs> well, I literally just got back from York like last week and they do it on draft. Like, I think they do it on draft in, um, in 10th Street. I'm sure they did. Yeah. I know they did like, the bottles in 10th mm. Street. But, um, I'll have to give that a whirl. Yeah, it's, it's strong. Yeah. I don't drink that because I'm a fuzzy player. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any <laughs> advice for like a younger player? Yeah, to be fair. Just don't give a fuck about it when anyone thinks and just... Go at it yourself, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Just think about you. Just that, like, when I was a kid, like, I used to, like, be intimidated by, like, certain other players, you know, we were older than me and stuff mm. like that, but in the day, just, just think about yourself, do you know what I mean? And just go at it for yourself, like. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so thanks very much for that, mate. Yeah, yeah nice one. Um, remember to like and subscribe and give us a five-star rating. It really helps. Thanks very much. Nice one.